With Macbeth in this version, obviously we are seeing him later age, which brings different elements into a project that has so many themes historically. So for you in this version of it, what theme did you feel that you wanted to center on or focus in on in this particular production? No, no, no particular theme that I, I focused on. Uh, age was a factor in a good way because it, it, it heightened the sense of urgency. This is it. There, there are no spring chickens. If, if, if it doesn't happen, this go right. They can't wait for this this little kid to, to get old and die either. They got they, they also they got they got to make something happen. So it, it, it helps create a, a sense of urgency. Shakespeare's poetry, there is a rhythm to the words when you say them, and you are known for a cadence that you bring to your words and projects and scripts. With this, is there a difference in how you approach rehearsals or that you work on each scenes or monologues with the different actors involved? Because it's Shakespeare, and in a sense, it's a foreign language, we all have to work that much harder together to figure out what everybody's because you got to not just understand what you're saying. You got to understand what's being said to you so that you can respond accordingly. So, so we, we, we came together as a, as a group, as a, as a real company and, and that helped a lot. So we obviously lost Mr. Sidney Portier a few days ago, um, which caused me to revisit his work and your Academy Awards speech where you discuss chasing him for 40 years and the 92 AFI honors where you talked about your first interaction with him. A lot of discussion about mentorship and the small things that can blossom into bigger things. So what is something that you reflect on that you've taken away from him and all this time that you still carry with you? The first time I met him, I don't know if, it, if I mentioned it, if I mentioned it, the first time I actually met him was in a bookstore on Wilshire Boulevard. And like any young, I was so young when I saw him in the store, I, I tried to act like I didn't see him. I ran outside to my car and got my picture resume and I brought it back in trying to act like, oh, hi. Oh, I didn't see you there. And oh, I just happened to have my. And he was like, well, no, young man, now's not the time and, and, and all of that. So I, I just remember begging for a job from Sydney Portia. Amazing. And lastly, their themes as we talk about destiny, power, jealousy. Do you think that our destiny is in our control or can someone speak it over? I, 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 I think that we are a part of what happens to us. Yes. I don't know if it's all in our control. No, I wouldn't say that. But, you know, someone can tell you that you'll never amount to anything, but that doesn't mean it's true.